Hey, hello. Three days with no power, camping out at Starbucks, laptop running out of battery, and I've got this meeting with Norman, which hopefully I can compose myself and not completely flip out in front of him because, you know, I've had a lot of coffees. The only one thing I'm gonna grab is a pen. Yeah, okay. Well, I took, I took, a, lot of, uh, took a lot away from the last conversation, I was like, I felt very unprepared at the time. And so you did some homework? Yes, yes, I sat down and um, I did some conversing back to Australia and got things sent that I didn't have my laptop and And I also met up with, with Dolphin City, the band that mm -hmm. I was speaking of. That's good. So you selected a song? A song called Old Romance, which is probably best for you to sort of listen to it. Well. Okay. It definitely felt good to walk in to that meeting with a, something to show him. He was completely getting into it like when there's were changes coming up. He had heaps of good pointers for me. Uh, yeah, so you want to do something visually very different at yeah. that moment. Time just passed. We were there for about an hour. I'm hearing some style. So what's the shape of the song? The reason why I asked what the song's about is that's basically your script. I get the feeling it's, it's almost trying to hold on to something that's gone. The strong <clears throat> music videos tell really great stories in their videos and that's yeah. what makes them more than just a collection of techniques. Yeah. Pretty much after the first meeting with Norman I was, I was a bit down and I, I realised I was trying to be someone who was an experienced filmmaker or pretend I was when I knew I wasn't. It sort of took a little while to realise that I should just claim the fact that I'm not and just be who I am and explain you know, what I'm excited about and what I'm energetic about and that I think got to, you know, got to Norman. Listen, I really like you. I think you're really smart and you've got some real great talent. There are a couple of people who I thought might be fun for you to meet and definitely use me as a resource. Yeah, okay. Well, quite frankly, I think I fucking nailed it. I've definitely changed throughout this experience. A trip can do that to you easily and especially traveling alone. It's been perfect, exactly what I needed. I feel like now I could quite easily slip into being a filmmaker. And I'm, I'm gonna go back home and I think I'm gonna try to get out of waterproofing. It's time. I'm on my way now to just meet with the band off the city. I've got a film clip idea for them. I am gonna paint this effing city with balloons. I can't wait. <clears throat> yeah, cheers. Cheers. Basically, the big thing about it for me is the balloons. The concept is that on the balloons you'll be writing stuff and there would be one section of the clip where there'd be these people walking through the streets with these bunches of balloons and handing them out to people and people would be writing it, something about an old romance on them. Does that, does that fit with what you feel about the song? I think generally speaking, like kind of the the art direction that we, we usually take is more of a minimalist approach. Whatever you can break it down to at its like most core mm -hmm. level would probably be the best thing. Like yeah. if, if we Originally I was thinking this is a huge chance for me to show diversity, is like to make something that is just a nice story. It's got normal footage in it and stop motion footage. You know, I'll have to do another clip where I get to do a story to actually have a portfolio for directing. But at the same time, you've got to satisfy the client, so it's kind of like a raise all story. <laughs> um, back to just visuals. So, sorry Norman, 